Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Two Israeli archaeologists, Gil Hackley and Avi Goffer of Tel Aviv University, have published a new study in the Cambridge Archaeological Journal, which claims the prehistoric building project of Gebekli Tepe was much more complex than previously thought. As you may already know, Gebekli Tepe is an archaeological site in Turkey, dated to between 12,000 and 11,000 years ago, and it is made up of circular enclosures of T-shaped pillars, with two larger T-shaped pillars in the centre. They famously contain animal and anthropological motifs that are carved in relief, and some of the pillars reach up to 6 metres or 20 feet in height. There are a number of phases of development, and later structures square in shape were built around the more ancient circular enclosures. The structures challenge the idea of primitive humans in the post-Ice Age world, and now this study challenges conventional ideas even further, with the two researchers explaining that the geometric pattern indicates far more planning than was ever thought possible in the distant past. Hackley and Goffer describe a hidden geometric pattern, which they describe as being a specific equilateral triangle. Before these new observations came to light, most archaeologists who have studied the site believe the circles of Gebekli Tepe had been built gradually, one after the other, and not to some architectural plan, and the older circles were covered over before the new ones were built. The researchers said that the three enclosures in question, labelled B, C and D, might have been constructed as a single unit at the same time. These structures are believed to be slightly older than enclosure A. Using an algorithm, Hackley worked out the centre points of the three enclosures, which fell roughly midway between the pair of central pillars, because, as you can see, the enclosures are not perfect circles. Joining the centre points of the three locations revealed a near-perfect equilateral triangle, falling short by just 25 centimetres or 10 inches. The equilateral triangle has sides measuring 19.25 metres or 63 feet in length. You may think that this is a coincidence, but Hackley told the media that the enclosures all have different sizes and shapes, and so the odds that the three centre points would form an equilateral triangle by chance are extremely low. Therefore, there must be a scaled floor plan, which the experts speculate was achievable using reeds of equal length to create a blueprint on the ground. Although the researchers agree that the sites had multiple phases of development, they believe the evidence shows that the architectural work started out as a single project, one engineering plan. So, although this all seems well and good, it was great to see a new blog post by researcher Martin Sweatman, who wrote a very interesting response to the paper, and I've linked this below in the description. For a start, there are a number of ways to define the centre points of an enclosure that isn't a perfect circle, and the two researchers used one method, which, thankfully for them, did work to form the triangle. But there are many other ways to define the centre point, and as a science it is somewhat arbitrary. For me personally, the obvious centre points would be the exact central position between the two tall central stones, which isn't the points they've chosen for this study. Also, if the Gebekli Tepe builders were such masters of geometry, why couldn't they build the three enclosures as perfect circles? Why is each enclosure a different shape and size? If you're building a huge site to a geometric plan, using reeds to mark out a blueprint, but fail to make a circular enclosure, then surely this isn't evidence of a group of master architects. Unless, of course, the enclosures were never meant to be circles. As Sweatman says in his blog, maybe these enclosures were planned to form an equilateral triangle, but then again, maybe they weren't. It is an untestable hypothesis, because of the arbitrary methods of finding the centre points of the enclosures. As Sweatman says, experts often scoff at the notion that the three Giza pyramids map the belt of Orion, even though such an idea does have historical and religious context to the ancient Egyptians. Yet, the same community are seemingly willing to accept Gebekli Tepe was a geometric plan before building commenced. 
Swetman also points out that when looking at the ground penetrating radar results for the rest of the site, for the circular enclosures that are still buried, these don't show any geometric relationship or pattern, and neither does enclosure A. And of course, as Swetman says, put together three similar sized circles so they are nearly touching, and their centres will automatically form something close to an equilateral triangle. So was the positioning of enclosures B, C and D deliberate, or was it just pure luck? Take a look at the evidence and I'll let you decide. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.